Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone. And if you're new here, hello, thanks for watching. If you like what you see, please like, comment, subscribe, do all those good things. This is Motor Mike Media, and as always, I'm Motor Mike, and today, well, it's sad news. My truck might have some serious problems. To make a long story short, I drove the truck on Saturday. It did quite well. Now, that sweet smell I've been smelling, I made a whole video on that sweet smell, it was pretty strong. But it had a little bit more of a gasoline smell instead of the regular sweet sludgy smell that was coming from before. But I didn't think anything of it. On Sunday, I didn't drive the truck at all, and then Monday, I took it to work. Now, on the way to work, it drove all the way fine until I got into the parking lot, and then it almost kind of shuddered a little bit. It was smelling very sweet, very uh, gasoline-y. I parked it, had to go inside, punch it, and start working. Around uh, lunchtime, we went outside with my buddy. We looked at it, started it up. It was running fine. I moved the truck forward. The gasoline smell was very strong. I pulled the truck back, and gasoline was everywhere. I went underneath the vehicle. The whole frame rail was basically soaked in gasoline. Now that vehicle has dual tanks. It's a 1989 Ford F-250. It's got the big 460 big block engine in there. But that whole frame rail was soaked. There's a rear tank. There's a front tank. So basically you have uh, two fuel pumps there. And there's a high pressure one right in the rail. So that high pressure one was soaked in gasoline around it. But once I wiped everything away and turned the vehicle on, it wasn't leaking. I didn't see a leak, but it was soaked. And then right above the main tank, all on top of there was covered in gasoline but it only poured it at that one time. Now when I stopped the vehicle, then the canister up front, if you remember that sweet smelling video I made not that long ago, there was that sweet smell coming from that emissions canister, that started dripping. So it went from a sweet smell, a little bit of gasoline, a little bit of sludge, to just pure gasoline smell. And what was dripping was just pure gasoline. So I'm at work, I, what do I gotta do? I knew it would be a whole lot of work to try to do that. I obviously wanna make videos for you guys, but in that situation I was like, hey, I know a mechanic, does great job, very affordable prices. I'm gonna limp the truck there. On the way there, it was running rich. I'd come to a stop at a red light and the vehicle would start idling funny. Getting to the mechanics, I parked the vehicle and the rail was dry. So it didn't leak any more than the tank was dry, which is very weird because they were soaked at my work. But that canister up front was pouring. Drip, 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 drip of pure gasoline. The mechanic came out and goes, wow, this is real strange. You know, I'll look at it, I'll let you know what's going on. So that'll happen Monday. I'm currently filming this Wednesday. This will go on Patreon tonight and tomorrow, Thursday, you guys will see this video. Still haven't heard anything yet. I know he was busy, he said he was busy. I trust the guy, he does great work at great affordable prices and obviously I wanna make content for you guys. But both me and my girlfriend, the truck doesn't fit in my garage. I didn't want it leaking gasoline outside. But I'll give you guys updates on what's happening with my truck. Uh, hopefully it's not a very expensive fix. Hopefully you can tell me what's going on. Maybe if I'm lucky I can go there and get some footage for you guys. We'll have to see about that. But I have lots of stuff planned for you guys. Uh, this weekend we're getting rims. We're gonna start painting and working on rims for the Jeep. I got those tires, like I said. We might do some body work to the Jeep. So I have a lot of things planned, and hopefully when the truck comes back, we'll get a full update. I'll show you guys what happened, what they actually did, and what I could have done to prevent this from happening. Uh, but just give you guys a little update on everything. I have a lot of things coming, so stay tuned. I know a lot of the videos lately have been a little bit short, but work's getting a little bit better now, so more content, better videos coming very soon. But guys, thank you all for watching. That's all I have for you today. And if you haven't already and you want to, please check out my channel. I keep trying to give you guys more and more content about cars, trucks, crossovers, and SUVs, combustion engines, and EVs, a little of everything. But please, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you guys can stay up to date with the latest and greatest for my channel. And as always, I truly, truly appreciate you all for watching. And I'll see you all in the next one.